Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's October 26, 2019, Saturday, 9.05 a.m. I would like to call to order this regular board meeting of Alman Public Group. We have uh, five board members present. We have Corum, uh, Mr. Uh, Stewart is uh, not able to uh, come, and I can make two questions about Sir Ryan. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. No public comments. <coughs> so our first action item is the consent agenda which includes uh, consider approval of previous board meeting minutes of September 21st, 2019, consider approval and ratification of the minutes and of the actions of the academic committee meeting on October 11th, 2019, consider approval and ratification of the minutes and of the actions of the finance committee meeting on October 11th, 2019, consider approval and ratification of minutes and the, of the actions of the governance committee meetings on October 16, 2019 and October 24, 2019. And finally, approval of resolution waiving application of 19 Texas Administrative Code 100-1015B3G and the Texas Charter School Performance Framework BM under 19 Texas Administrative Code 100-1010-C. So moved. All right, so uh, anyone seconding? Second. All right, that's okay, seconded. Everyone in favor of approving the consent agenda as presented, say aye. 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 It's approved. The next item is consider approval of quarter two fiscal year 2020 budget amendments. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The mayor members, we have been looking for the impact of HB3 and the report will see the impact. In our report, we have three sections. In the first section, you will see the budget uh, based on the state funding. In the second section, you will see the budget uh, for all fundings. And in the third, third one, you will see the major object costs. So let's start with the, our state funding. In our initial budget, we have to put for $321 million revenue and uh, with additional 550 students plus HP3, we, got, we are expecting actually $352 million. And based on that, we, our expenditure, our initial expenditure is $313 million. And it will be $343 million in the amendment. So our overall net change in net debt will be $9.2 million. So as you know, our goal is change in net debt 2%. And in each page, you will see the summary based on our clusters. In the second section, you will see all funds. And our first initial estimation was $372 million per year. And based on our current amendment, it will be $407 million. And our total expenditure, we expected $364 million before each three. And currently, we are expecting $398 million. So overall, total change in it will be $9.2 million. In the next page, you will see some based on clusters. And the last page is the central office. Based on our major 
expenditure costs, you will see the summary. So our bill in our first budget was seven million dollars. And in the current budget update it will be two hundred and thirty eight million dollars for the state funding. For the general fund, it was $227 million, and we are expecting $216 million for all funds. Do you have any questions? But can you say the new uh, payroll numbers for the okay. If you look at from the state funding, it will be $238 million. Page 22. Page 22? Yes. You will see, yeah. okay. based on the major object costs. Uh, Based on state funding, it was uh, it will be 138 million dollars. When we look at from the old funds, it will be 163 million dollars. And if you may remember, we just raised the salaries, yeah, that's and, right. uh, and we got uh, the same or similar <coughs> uh, increase from the uh, Our expectation are very close to the future. We are in good shape of, in, of all our clusters, so there is no problem to raise the salaries. Did you receive any feedback about the pay raise from the teachers? Yeah. From the teachers? From the yeah, teachers. I yeah. think we did. Yeah. They yeah. are yeah. happy. So. Did you go through this in the finance committee? Actually, uh, he released the sort of finance in the last uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. We couldn't get an opportunity <coughs> to review uh, this report. Uh, okay. After the uh, finance committee, we will do the numbers for you and the working people have to make the report. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Why have you the summary, the full summary sheet, uh, the percentages, actual percentages? Right? Are they expected, like, are they typical, like every year? Because it's like negative number this part of the year and then it goes. Yes. So at the beginning of the school year, we are spending more than what the team is doing, uh, but normally, uh, I mean, it shows you, let's say, I mean, uh, when you spend something in May, it doesn't make any sense for the society. We need to have uh, all the expenditures as soon as possible so uh, the kids have the ability to use the funding. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of the school year, we are spending more than what we are getting from TA, but we are, uh, we believe TA so will be released, so, uh, I mean, we are in the little shape. Okay. Uh, numbers, so uh, we do have more than uh, about, about two percent net change, net change. Mm -hmm. and last year we put up some challenges, but this year all the numbers look great. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. All right, so this is the uh, approval of a budget amendment. Is there any other questions, comments? Is this, this is the, um, I mean, we, I know that we have periodical amendments, but this specific amendment, we are doing it because now that we have the final numbers, right, of the new bill. Yes, actually, I mean, it's a major reason, but normally we are partly updating we are our part budget, budget. Uh, so we will the right projection for the future. So every part that will bring, even if we don't expect any change, it still will bring it to your attention. But in this one, we had a major change since they released the HPP uh, after our first budget amendment. Yeah. I think uh, the administration and working with the board did a good job in terms of uh, taking a not maybe not the final action, but informing teachers on time that there's a race coming and uh, some giving some ideas, some numbers, so that uh, we were able to provide that before it's like, too late or before contracts are signed. I'm hoping that that made some difference. So, uh, so thank you for that as well, to you, the finance administration. So uh, do we have a? I have a question. Sure. So on the <coughs> House Bill Three, not only are the salaries part of it, but also of us having the ability or we, the requirement to have pre-K available for all kids that are four years that uh, qualify. So how are we going to address that? 
Is that part of all of this budget? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So basically, uh, maybe we spent most of the funding for payroll, but still we have the flexibility around five or uh, five million dollars to allocate this for each, uh, uh, let's say, for the early education, the uh, default. So we have the requirement to spend 58 percent of the debt funding for the uh, impact on debt default. So that in the past, that was again, uh, I mean, gifted. Or ESL or special education, they didn't come or CT, 58 percent, we just uh, spend it money for that people. So we also monitor the expenditures based on the that people as well. Do we have any elementary schools that do not currently have preschool that we're going to have to add to it? Yes. Good. The House bill I mean, requires if we have an elementary school that does not have pre K, we need to accommodate. So what we is need to, We need to accommodate in two years. Right. So this will get a fine for favor for a certain, uh, favor for a certain school. But uh, we need to find a way. If there is a space, we are obligated uh, for pre K program. <coughs> so we are looking into that. So it's, only, oh, it's only if we have space? I thought even if we didn't have space, we need to make arrangements. First two years. You know, they are able to provide the waiver. Right. We do not have any space. Right, but then we have but to. But in the long run, you know, even one section has to go. On. So what we need to do, we need to change the way to be designed the number of uh, sections we have in school. So instead of having, let's say, two kindergarten, we may end up having one. So we will be able to enroll in the city. actually uh, didn't no, that was a discussion session for HP3. They, they want to uh, change the pre K requirement and uh, allocate full uh, okay. uh, funding for pre K. But uh, I mean, currently <coughs> they don't allocate full uh, uh, funding for pre K. Uh, so that, uh, I mean, they will get half uh, funding for pre K. So I think uh, this is still this discussion. Uh, so, so the chatter out there is that we have to figure it out. Schools have to figure it out. We sure. get money from other other places, but I mean we don't have any. I mean we got to figure out how to do it. I just want to make sure that I just want to make sure that SSF charter schools, you know, are doing it so that we don't, sure. you know, sure. appear as we're not doing, you know, because there's going to be a lot of focus on it, and either we need to go find the funds through fundraising or. You know, I don't know, other places, but... Actually, I mean, we, we have two more years, so I, I think we are waiting for the discussions and so they finalize, but the uh, early education is one of the source to allocate the funding to be the option. So instead of spending it for the uh, first, second, and third grade, you can just allocate the funding for 3K. Yeah. Uh, in I'm just letting you know that there's a lot of advocacy groups getting ready sure. to look at what, well, not us, but public schools are doing, so they're right now getting ready, even though we have two years. I mean, they're going to start, you know, applying the bill, you know, literally. No, so, I think we are on We are excited that that's a great move. And uh, but we draw our lottery uh, usually in March. So we already decided number of uh, sections we were going to. Open. So bill pass late May. So we had no other option but to continue what we have. But the following oh, no, year. Definitely. Is going to be easy. Yeah. I don't believe that's going to be We are also piloting Greeky for a while. We have some Greeky yeah. in Austin and sure. some so other We have several. You know, yes. We have it in Dallas and we have it in Austin for years. We used to have one here. Uh, the elementaries, we have, for two years, we had Greeky. Sure. We'll just we have one big kinder section and uh, turn that into a Greeky. I think that's an easy thing. But that has to plan at the six months before school starts. Yeah. That's probably why they said two years. Like they, yeah, they, it, they it speed takes it time. Mm -hmm. I think so it's good for students. It will be good for us eventually because the other studies, the earlier they start Greek and the uh, reading level and all the census level improves. And also the um, the the survey from uh, Price Waterhouse is that if kids don't start preschool or attend preschool, their chances of a criminal offense is a lot higher than kids that attend preschool. So I mean it's overall for the society. I mean it's a whole yeah, I mean it's an extremely critical. Not that we're not gonna do anything, I'm just saying for it since we're all about students and sure. I mean, the house bill three for us was I mean it is a really good thing I think. But it's a really challenge for TA also as well so uh, oh. too many different uh, new uh, I mean things that are working. 
even for the uh, some of the finance normally they do this in October tax. This year it was a little bit day. Also doesn't care and they just make the you know, they, they expect you to implement it. If they don't care how you know they just voted it. But we're in a better position I know than HISD, so that is a good thing for us. <laughs> All right. Any one like to make a motion? Unless so there's moved. further discussion, okay, uh, motion made, and what's second? Second. All right, seconded. Everyone in favor of approving the uh, budget amendments as presented, say aye. 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 They are approved. Uh, consideration of payments to employees in Boma for uh, school days lost due to internet weather. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Farmer Science Academy in Boma wants you to, um, to improve missed days due to heavy rain and flooding. Uh, That's just for Imelda. Called by Dr. Imelda. Imelda? Yes, Imelda. She's um, Harvey's ex wife. That's <laughs> why <laughs> so she was upset. She was upset. Yeah. So they had to close the school for five days. Be able to pay those employees to meet your uh, I mean, some moved. I mean, there's. <laughs> I, I second. Oh, yeah. All right, I mean, they so were not. They were in really bad shape. So. Yeah. I second. All right, second. That everyone in favor of approving say aye. 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 It's approved. Thank you. Thank you. It's the memory. All right. So our next item is uh, a little bit emotional one. So before we discuss the item. I would like to say a few words uh, because our longest serving board member, dear Alan McDonald, is retiring. Yeah. Not resigning, but retiring. This because this is a retirement uh, from our board, who is a long time, uh, and she is the longest uh, serving board member. She has been the long time vice chair and also founding uh, chair of academic committee. Uh, so, I want to wish you a uh, Happy retirement, and uh, we want you to know that our schools and students have been fortunate to benefit from your dedication, from your wisdom, uh, through your tenure and our board. And, you know, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't thank you for your contributions, and especially uh, key turning points such as establishing the academic committee, your leadership, your initiative. Uh, also, the same thing with the teacher retention initiative and many more. So we want to thank you as uh, for years of service for Harman Public Schools, also your lifetime service to the community. As a token of our appreciation for your dedication and service administration together, we decided to name our uh, innovation lab as Alan McDonald Innovation Lab, <laughs> so that we will always remember you and your contribution. Them, because part of the academic uh, uh, department and you, were, uh, you, you have um, your contribution leadership in establishing the academic committee was a, a instrumental. So we will miss you, but we wish you the best of the luck and send you with the same love that you have shown to others uh, throughout your time here with Harlem. Okay. So thank you very much. prepare something as a memory and uh, again appreciation that says in appreciation of Alan McDonald for your unwavering support and unrelenting dedication to the success of the students and staff of Harman Public Schools. This is uh, so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, 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 So we all want to say cheese, right? One, two, and three. 
Guys, I was just take like one or two. It's like, no, you need a whole bunch of them. Charles, pick the best one. I have six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Thank you. So I'm going to speech. Um. Speech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. been anticipating this for some time now, um, and I'm going to miss you all. I was trying to think of, of what the value of how many has meant to the community. It has been such an honor to be a part of that. And it's the way you all work together which makes a very small difference. I would even make that to this meeting. And the effort you all put into the serious thinking and research and planning, uh, nothing in my experience of how many, at least in recent years, has been done just by punch or by one person's indecision. decision. The people have worked together at researching needs finding ways to meet the students. And it's all for the benefit of the students. And we don't sit around and say, well, how, what's the board going to benefit from this? And we, our aim always is how is this going to improve our behavior? And to be a part of such a strong effort that harmony has really been an honor. And one of the reasons I've stayed around so long because I have always been, you know, there. You need people to be hanging on forever <laughs> to, to be in the boards and positions like that. But it, it was so important to me to see the openness to really putting a priority on academics. I remember, as I said in the very beginning, that in the early days, and that, that just too early, but in recent days, I, Every, every meeting has been about the finances. What new buildings are we going to add on to? What new campuses are we going to open? And if someone had asked me before the academic committee was organized, uh, what is it that uh, Harmony is teaching? What was the curriculum? I would have had no idea in the beginning and could not have explained things to people. And this way, I think we all have a, a strong sense of the wonderful work that the academic department does and well, how we as a school board feel that our vision and our goal are strongly supported and implemented. And I'm, I'm excited about that. That will continue. I know it will continue. It's, it's in our blood now, right? <laughs> right? Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, so I was thinking the other day about writing my letter of resignation. And what am I going to miss most about it? It's hard to put into words. As I get ready to come to a meeting, I think, well, in the process of scheduling, I think, oh, another meeting. But as I get ready to come, I have a sense of sadness that this will be my last one. And yet I, I sincerely hope that I don't lose touch with you all. And uh, I want to continue in some way to be able to support home in a way that would be useful to me. I'm excited that I think I've been getting any glasses for that lecture, do But I'm not able to do the things that I believe personally that a board member should do. And when I can't do that, then I feel that I've worn out my, my uh, contributions. And so I, I appreciate all this recognition. The Innovation Lab excites me. I even have something at home on my desk that I made in the innovation lab one day when before it had opened. And, and, uh, so it would be nice to have that sitting right next to me. Uh, 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 thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. you but we'll be in touch so uh, if you're not going or you're just not going to be 
say the board meetings, but we, we know that we'll be with Harmony and then uh, we'll see each other. So um, the, I, the, the item is the new board member election for HPS board. And as it's impossible to replace Ellen, but we need a new board member. So the good news is we have really, really good one that we all the committee members, governance committee, uh, feel best this way. This is uh, explained and summarized in the governance committee uh, meeting minutes uh, that we had two meetings actually. As you know, we follow the same procedure that we uh, we set up once. We hosted, we asked for candidates. There were three candidates. Uh, one of the candidates that she couldn't make it to any of our uh, you know uh, planning or scheduling. So we end up uh, hosting two uh, members, potential members, and uh, you know, Mrs. Helen Sher Sherwood that you have a resume. It's the whole the committee members that the coach was not available, but uh, Mr. I, myself, and Helen we met with her. We spent 90 minutes. Uh, she has an amazing story, amazing experience with Harmony, and she's doing a lot of advocacy work for Harmony and other. Uh, for her church, for her, uh, you know, uh, in past Boy Scout and everything, and uh, I think one of the, uh, I think it is in when we started developing the board, one, uh, we had several uh, key uh, skill sets. One of them was the college, one of them was finance and business, and the fourth one was uh, advocacy. She will, she will, she will fit perfect for that. Uh, so the governance committee, uh, and I, we need one uh, official nomination before I think maybe it should be one of the committee members should do, is strongly recommending her as a board member. And then if you know, we vote on her and if, she's, uh, you know, if we uh, approve, she'll become a board member effective November 1st, because Ellen's designation will be effective October 31st. So whoever is going to make a motion, if they can make uh, the motion that I nominate uh, Helen Sherwood as the board member effective November 1st, 2019, that will be uh, good. But that's about it. But as I said, some of the summary of uh, is, is listed into two uh, governance committee minutes. What did Helen numbers one of you that interviewed her to make the motion? Yeah. I will, I will move um, that Helen Sherwood be uh, nominated, uh, nominated, uh, name came to me for the um, board, especially in the first. I'm, I was so impressed with her. To have a parent say all the things that she said, oh, thank you, what you want to what harmony has been to the education of her children and to her commitment to education. Um, one of her children also um, benefited from our special needs programs and she has articulated it so well. She not, when she describes her experience, you know it's, it's not just this is my advocacy. But it's this is my life experience uh, report to you. This is what my children experience. This is the difference we made in their lives. And then to have added to that all the contributions she has made in her work in the community. And also the sense that um, she gives herself to do it. When she makes a commitment, she follows through, she's committed to it, and she's out there supporting whatever it is that she has said to And I see several gaps that we have that she will be able to fill. And I'm excited about that. So I highly recommend All right, so we also made the nomination uh, motion to appoint her as a board member, effective November 1st. Anybody second it? I second. So everyone in favor of approving uh, Helen Sherwood as our new board member, effective November 1st. Uh, say aye. 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 All right, so it's passed. Uh, I'll, I'll be calling her and informing her, so you'll meet her next board meeting. So this takes us to our uh, 
next item, which is very relevant. So now that Ellen is leaving the board, and Ellen was the chair of the um, academic committee, so I'm going to make a motion. And if you have any suggestion or discussion, yeah, feel free. Otherwise, <coughs> one, one person can uh, uh, second it. But let me explain. And I talked to Dr. Coach, and he accepted to be a board uh, committee chair for academic committee. So um, uh, Helen wants to join the academic committee, so she'll join as a member. And our governance committee, Homer will as a the second, uh, you know, longest uh, serving board member. He will join the governance committee. But because he has joined the governance committee, uh, he, you know, he is he is now member of three committees. So since he is the chair of finance, we want to keep him in the finance as a position. So he's, he'll be living, Homer will be living the academic committee, and I talked to him. And Dr. Nal, as a finance and a business uh, an entrepreneur, education entrepreneur, he will be joining us at, at the uh, finance committee. So my motion is uh, appointing uh, Helen Sherwood to academic committee, uh, appointing Dr. Koch as the chair of the academic committee, Appointing Mr. Stewart uh, to the Governance Committee and Dr. North now to the Finance Committee. Anyone would like to second one, please? I <laughs> All right, Dr. K seconded. Everyone in favor of approving uh, these uh, appointments to the board committees, say aye. 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 They are approved. Uh, thank you, everyone, for serving uh, the committees. That's really important. That, help, that helps us to make decisions at the board level uh, really easier mm -hmm. and more efficient. And that's why we end up finishing board meeting in 30, we start now for 32 minutes. So it's a, a new record. So with that, uh, is there any final remarks, any up, I, sorry, announcements? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to add a comment to that. And that is that I think that the presence of board members on committees, um, like academic committee, is really, uh, appreciated by staff and students. That's important. And that they feel heard and they feel that they're participating in a more good role. And I think it's a good idea. That's true. That's true. All right. I have a comment. Sure. I met with Ellen almost 20 years ago when Donald McDonald and herself, uh, when I was a graduate student. So she has been and he has been an inspiration for me for a long time and we had a chance to work in the board for more than a year, I guess. So I really also thank you personally for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, we, we, words are not enough to appreciate, you know, and tell us how we how much we appreciate everything you do. Anytime you need help, like you, you need to call, we need a board member present in a meeting, in a visit. And L will be there if a meeting, a board meeting, committee meetings, or hosting someone. So we truly appreciate that in the last 10 years. So with that, uh, we need a, a motion to adjourn the meeting. Well, I guess I want to say something about Ellen. Sure. So um, I don't know Ellen very much, uh, but I know that she has been very disruptive for you as a board. And um, so. Um, you need to appreciate her for that, even they though. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad you're like you. <laughs> so some of you were not here for that uh, interaction that happened um, uh, to me when I was introduced as you know for the board. Uh, but I do tell that story out there, so be, be aware of that. So uh, and uh, what I say is that when I join, and I know you're not going to do this to Ms. Sherwood, but when I joined, there was a lot of disruption and there was a lot of you know. Tension and you know I wasn't wanted on the board and I was sitting there and and um, um, so everybody's you know arguing and everything. I mean, can you imagine being there and people arguing for you that not to be there? Uh, so anyway, we're busy. And my, the first thing in my head went like F. I don't need I don't need this. I'm cool. I don't need this. And then the second thing in my head was F. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> so um, you know, people ask me why did I stay. And you know, with that kind of um, uh, you know reception, and um, and I stayed because of the kids. You know, I stayed because of my new one, Harmony. 
was doing and I believe in harmony and I knew that because the board was you know responsible for a lot of things happening there I knew that the board had to be a good board you know there had to be good people on the board and that there was just something that just needed to be introduced you know to me and to a new way of looking at things and that um, that I, I, I was the one that was meant to be on the board to help you guys get over that little edge because nobody else could have sat there and put up with that if they weren't, you know, very tough skin like I am. So, uh, so Ella did that for you all and uh, she's done a lot of great things, but that one was one and uh, that you really need to thank her for because it's gonna take you as a board and as an organization a lot further than you would have been. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. And uh, Daisy, many of us appreciate you also from day one also. And I think it was you, you joined a, a very critical, painful time. And I, I reflect a lot about those times and I think it was meant to be. And your participation in, through that process was also meant to be. So that we appreciate your, uh, you know, your disruptiveness as well. <laughs> Uh, it's well. All right. So, uh, any so motion? Nobody wants to. 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 So I will vote yes. Yeah, well, first, second. This is your last motion, second. So second the motion. You want to second the motion first? We have a second. He just made the motion. So you second? You second. Okay, now uh, let's vote. Everyone in favor of adjourning the meeting, say aye. 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 The meeting adjourns. Thank you. We're working together. Quite a few documents to sign. Oh, okay. That's up. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, by the way, don't forget to sign. Board members here, this can start with me.